Watch, I'm going to make a left hand turn. Was that right? No, it was left, but was that correct? Thank you for joining me, Jacques Mugé, on location. And as you can see, we are here at the intersection in question. The question was, you see this double-lined painted median? Can you use it to turn left? Or should you continue on in the travel lane where this red little vehicle is right now? He turned right, but should you stay there if you're going to turn left? Or should you scoochie on over to the painted median if you're going to turn left? You can see the original video that is in question um, right up here, right now, and uh, that's the link to it, but you know, let's just take a look at it a little bit. Um, yes, here we are. Was that right? No, it was left, but was that correct? Here we go again, and look, I'm taking this, it looks like it would be a left turn lane, now in Oregon, we have a, well, we have a choice here. Is that the right lane to use, the correct lane to use to make the left turn? Or should we stay in that lane and then go across? All right, so anyway, that's uh, the question in our minds is, which lane should you use? What we're gonna do now is, first of all, look at some of the comments that people gave um, on the last video. And most all of them universally said, no, you can't cross the W yellow line. Uh, one comment did say, um, at least use your turn signal, which is always a good idea. Thank you for that, Dad. Um, but um, otherwise, most people just said, you know what, you can't cross that double yellow line. And that is kind of true, kind of. But the word crossing the yellow line is not totally accurate. Because guess what? You can cross the W yellow line. Actually, you can. The thing is, let's look at this little graphic from our Oregon driver's manual. You cannot travel within that lane and use it as a left turn lane. But you can cross W yellow lines if you're just turning to travel over them. You cannot travel within that lane. So. Most of you are pretty much right. You cannot use that as a left turn lane. You can't cross the line in order to travel in it as a lane. But you do, rem you do need to remember though that you can uh, cross a W yellow line if you're turning left. You can. You just don't do it like that white car right there. Oh, perfect. See, that is example number one. And that's what I kind of think. See, my thing is here, I have a little bit of a disagreement with the way this intersection is painted because I kind of agree with what that white car did. Is it not better to get out of the travel lane and move over so that cars don't run into you? Is it not more efficient, not more safe? I believe that there may be some reasons why you'd have these double painted yellow line medians, but I think in this instance, they should restripe this. They should repaint this, and it should be a left turn lane. Why is why was it? Why would it be wrong? Why, why not use that space? It doesn't mean you hint to me. So uh, I think I might write uh, a letter to my city councilor. That's what I'm thinking. All right, now we have a bonus question. Well, it's a little bonus bit of information for you. What do you do if you're traveling down the road? and you want to turn left, but you don't encounter a median like this one here, but you encounter a median like this one here with the diagonal stripes in the middle. What then? Can you cross that just to turn left like you could on this uh, other one? No, you can't. You can't even think about using that to cross. You can't cross it. You can't go in it. No trespassing. You, it's like evil okay so don't even think about it i think if you even think about it there could be a citation so uh yeah you don't want to do that and by the way just this one question here have you subscribed yet if not what are you doing with your life i mean you're probably you're obviously anti-information if you haven't subscribed yet because i'm informative so do something about it subscribe and like guess what we have some more some more bonus information that Jacques, that me, has for you. And well, I'm gonna throw it back into the studio for just a few more quick and timely informational things. I'm Jacques Nuri.
and so are you. Thank you, me. And we are back in the studio, and I am Jacques Nuchy, and so is he. It's confusing. I know. It's confusing. I do have a few bonus little segment comment things. Um, first of all, I would like to give you what we are going to call, we being me, the Bozo Driver of the Day Award. And this is from my dish cam of a few days ago. And uh, I want you to watch this really carefully, knowing that when I pull up to an introspection intersection and it's a four-way stop or any kind of a stop, there's a stop sign there, as a rule, I come to a full, complete, and unabashed, utter stop. The wheels stop moving. I don't care who you are, stop means stop. All right, might just start up a Me Too movement for stop signs, I don't know. Anyway, um, here's a little clip of me coming up to said stop sign, and everybody else has said stop sign in their directions. And watch here, uh, here I am, and look at the lady on the right coming up. She's gonna be coming up here in just a second. And the red little vehicle, I'm here at a stop. You can see my wheels are not turning, and what does she do? Yep. Oh, hey, you know, I guess I can just go. I don't even need to barely slow down. So she gets the Bozo Driver of the Day Award. We were all stopped. I was there way before she was even probably born, and it was my turn. I was stopped, ready to go. She doesn't even bother to stop. Crime and Etley, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And the other thing, that's a bonus question, second bonus issue, and then one more thing before I sign off. I know you're not supposed to say that because then everybody, oh, I'm gonna jump ship now, I'm out of here. Well, stick around because I got some good information for you. Anyway, the second thing is today's Bozo Know-It-All, tell everybody what to do with their lives picture comes from another intersection and uh, stop sign. And well, guess what? This person seems to think that they can tell me what I can and cannot eat. That's just not right. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, and then finally, I want to leave you with, uh, if you're in tune and up to date on my Facebook page, which, you know, as I said out on the street, if you're not s subscribing to me on Facebook and here and everywhere else, what is wrong with you? If you are on my Facebook page, you know I sent out, pardon me, a call for uh, people to send me their questions, driving questions, life questions, is it, you know, relationship questions, because guess what? One of the favorite things I love to do is give unsolicited advice. And I figure, well, hey, I can also give solicited advice, can I not? So solicit, all right? Relationship questions, love, marriage, not that I'm good at any of those things, but I do have an opinion about pretty much everything and I love to give it. So ask. And then of course, driving, um, aviation questions, I have no idea. I just know I love aviation and I love airplanes and the queen of the skies is my favorite airplane in the world. Does anybody know what that is? Answer it below and thank you for joining me, Jacques Nuri. Oh, but there's more. There's always more. Click on one of these videos, you'll see. This is TPRQ.